You know, we all like to talk about the environment and how we should protect it and not pollute. Well, talk can be cheap. I mean, look at all the sport utilities on the highways today. They continue to get bigger and thirstier. And you know, it's too bad because there are plenty of options out there. How about the new hybrid vehicles? The Toyota Prius, for one. Here's a vehicle that can run both on gasoline and electric. And how about the Honda Insight? It has to be the cutest econobox out there. Well, over the next few months, we're going to experience life with the Insight in our long-term fleet and maybe clear up some misconceptions. But first, we're going to see how one car manufacturer is continuing to build on its heritage and taking a fresh approach in producing what could be the world's safest vehicle. Safety for Volvo is one of the cornerstones in our brand name. And we certainly have the ambition to stay number one in the world when it comes to automotive safety. The um, safety concept car shows the seriousness about this attempt. Just in case anybody was doubting that we were the leading uh, exponent of safety, we just come up with this to show, yes, we are. This time, though, uh, passive safety, which has been our forte, this time we, we've uh, gone to the active safety side much more. The safety concepts you see in this car, they focus on active safety, okay? And that's the part of safety that helps you avoid an accident. We wanted safe cars that look great. We want to excite people about safety. Because really, to, to have fun in a car, it's a little bit like being on a trapeze. You can go up and swing around and have more fun if you know there's a net below. In a car, if you know that the car is competent and it can handle anything you throw at it, you can have more fun with it. The essence of this is good vision. The driver must see as much as he can. And the, the fixed eye point, which is the basis of this car, means that all the drivers, whenever a driver sits in, no matter how tall or short the driver is, the car will detect where the eyes are through an infrared beam and a camera, can, ref can uh, recognize the reflections in somebody's eyeball. It will move the seat so that the eyes are in the optimum position to see out of the car. There's no forward and rearward movement of the seat. Everything else moves. The pedals, the steering wheel, and the center console come towards the driver for optimum use and optimum vision, optimum controllability. And it meant that once we had established that everybody would sit in the same place, then we could make the A-pillars uh, transparent, almost. We've made a structure that you can see through. It maintains all the strength necessary in the, in the front pillars, but it's more or less an extension of the windscreen now, so it's all-round vision. And if you look at the, the way the B-pillar is moved into the car, it means if you turn your head to the side, you're not confronted with a very big B-pillar with a seatbelt coming out of it, it's glass. So the, the, the vision is the thing in this car, it's the active safety. We have some automated systems, like a blind spot warning system that if you try to change lanes and there's someone in your blind spot, you get warning indicators in the form of a light on the mirror, you get an audible warning in the, from the side of the car that you should not drive toward, it sounds like a rumble strip. If you are uh, Convert, con if you're converging on a car in front of you too quickly, or they're either braking or you're accelerating too quickly, you'll get a collision warning forward that is in the form of a heads-up display of red lights that appear in your windscreen, suggesting that now's the time to put the brakes on. You know, wake up, slow down, and control your car. When you pull up to a junction, the headlamp beam gets wider and shorter, a broader beam, so you can see everything at the junction. As you set off and accelerate, the beam gets narrower and longer, so you can see down the road. Uh, and when it comes to a corner, the headlamp beam will turn the corner with you, so you can see what's coming around the corner. A lot of ideas, uh, but again, on the active side, as much as the passive. We still have all the passive uh, Volvo uh, airbags and uh, restraint systems. A new restraint system, in fact, the four-point safety belt. So. This is uh, real safety in action, as well as active safety. That's the goal, just to help and avoid any potential for accidents. If there's one thing I know, it's cars. Take it from me, this is a great car. I've been driving 19 years, and I've had 12 of these.
Why, as soon as this one's paid for, I'm going to get another one. Just in time for the 72s. Yes, sir, I'm hooked. Uh, I wouldn't drive anything else. Look at that color, peacock blue. If the logic of this argument escapes you, you're ready for a Volvo. Volvos are built so well, they last an average of 11 years in Sweden. How long they'll last here is anybody's guess. If it wasn't a great car, why would I buy so many of them? Hi, hi. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And if you watch this on Facebook, like, follow, and share us. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.